After Midnight, the only comedy game show that isn't a talk show, even though some people really wish it was. <laughs> but they're wrong. Let's meet tonight's panelists. She's a stand-up comedian whose debut album, Dirty Bird, comes out March 3rd. It's Caitlin Palufa. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I've had six energy drinks. I can't feel my knees. Let's go. She's a comedian and GLAAD Award nominee you know from The Daily Show, whose new memoir, Hello Friends, is out now. It's Dulce Slow! I'm happy to be here on a late night show where the host doesn't change every night. <laughs> She's an actor and comedian who's currently headlining on her Southern USA tour. It's Jenny Zagrino! <laughs> I just upped my Wellbutrin and got a full Brazilian. I am not scared of any of you. After Midnight starts now. Okay, panelists, tonight you'll all be playing for a free trip to beautiful Loomis, Nebraska. Yeah. yeah. Hotel not included because they don't have one. <laughs> so let's start with what's going down in the group chat. <laughs> Panelists, buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. <laughs> Ooh! Magic isn't real, and life is fundamentally disappointment and pain. <laughs> Triggered? Well, you're gonna hate this next story. God. Families in Glasgow bought tickets to an event called Willie's Chocolate Experience, which was billed as a celebration of chocolate in all its delightful forms. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was anything but, as at Bearded Genius tweeted, actually in awe of how grim this is. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It looks more like Willy Wonka's abandoned auto factory. The caution tape is a nice touch. <laughs> yeah. To that rainbow. Caution. <laughs> you might be gay. <laughs> they just pinned up a background on the wall. It doesn't even I love this Alibaba photo shoot that they've given us. <laughs> Very Timu of them. <laughs> Loomis, Nebraska wishes. <laughs> Has anyone been to Loomis on tour? I'm sure there's a club there that we all will bomb at. There so has to be, right? Yes. There's a woman that. jokes out like that. <laughs> and look at how sad this Oompa Loompa looks. Oh. <laughs> they have a meth factory? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Loomis. Oh. I get it. They do. Definitely. <laughs> well, girl, it's Scott so we get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Comedians, what are some other features you could find at this dingy chocolate factory? Jenny. The asbestos tastes like asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You gotta do the accent. You gotta do it. It doesn't work without an accent. You gotta sell it. <laughs> They'll say. Heroin. <laughs> For sure. Uh, instead of bringing your beloved grandparent, you have to bring your creepy uncle. <laughs> oh. Oh. I feel like, can I just say, yeah, I feel please. like this looks like the duty free at an airport in Lithuania. <laughs> <laughs> in the little clear box. What do you mean you have nothing to declare? <laughs> we we stole have... everything from your bags. You have plenty to declare. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Stuff, we all like it, but it costs money. Mm -hmm. And making money is hard. I'm literally reading while standing right now. <laughs> But if you won the lottery, you could get all the stuff with none of the work. That's why a trend has taken over TikTok where people reveal what the signs would be if they won the lottery. <laughs> be the signs that you won the lottery? Jenny. Um, I would finally get the plastic surgery I've always wanted. I would get a single nipple enlarged. Ah! And if 
you guess correctly, you get a Starbucks gift card. <laughs> Caitlin. Um, I would get a fridge. <laughs> okay. Thank you. It's really rough right now. <laughs> Tell her. Okay, so first of all, I'm not telling you. See, <laughs> that's how you find out somebody won a lottery because you're running your mouth on TikTok. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Sounds like a setup to me, Taylor. <laughs> If you've ever been around an acoustic guitar and a guy, you've heard this song. Today it's gonna be the day that they're gonna throw me back to you. But now you get to somehow realize what you gotta do. I don't... <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. TikTok user at Is Everyone Okay has spent 26 days piecing together the lyrics of Wonderwall one word at a time proving they are, in fact, not okay. <laughs> That's an interesting way to sing a song, so comedians, please buzz in and give us a single word from your favorite song. <laughs> Dulce. Thriller! Yeah. That, was great. that was a great one. Jenny. Help. <laughs> Caitlin. Oh, Dulce has a question. Yes. What the hell song is he singing? <laughs> that's, that's Wonderwall. Today is going to be the, the day, day that they're going to throw it back to you. Now you should have somehow realized what you got to do. What's the oh, point? I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. That's incredible. And all the, the roads that lead you there are winding. And, and all, all the lights that lead you there are the blinding. It's still February, Mo! <laughs> yeah. I know, Oh my god. This is, this is my favorite episode. Oh my god. <laughs> Points. Yeah.